Alright guys, do you remember Calexit, the plan for California to break off from the states after the results of the 2016 election? Well it looks like things are one step closer because Californians have officially filed for a referendum. But hold on, as I said when we talked about this last time, politics moves very slowly. So what has occurred is that independence campaigners have submitted a proposed ballot that will allow them to start collecting signatures, which if they then get enough signatures, a referendum can be held. Protests are still being held in the wake of Donald Trump winning the electoral college and hence the presidency, and unrest is still brewing beneath the surface. Still, this was not the beginning of California's separatist dream, more like the catalyst, and the more cynical out there may even deign to call it an opportunity. California has a history of trying to separate not only from the states, but into multiple different internal states. In 1992, there was a bill proposed to allow a referendum to allow each Californian county to become three separate states, those of North, Central, and South California. Of course, this was grouping the counties together because there are several. And that is just one of many incidents. The push this time comes from group Yes California, who has pretty much admitted they're using the Trump unrest as a platform to garner support. Marcus Ruiz Evans, vice president and co-founder stated, we're doing it now now because of all the overwhelming attention. He went on to further claim they had initially planned to wait for a later election, particularly due to funds required for signature gatherers. But thanks to the unhappiness many feel at Trump's win, they already have 13,000 people who have volunteered to collect signatures. Largely, yes, California's argument stems from the state's huge economic prosperity, stating that they have the sixth biggest economy in the world after the UK. And many in the state feel that they pay more to Washington than they get back in return. Evans also claims that the state is different culturally from the rest of the US, a claim echoed by Texas which also has a history of wanting to separate. If the required amount of signatures are collected, a vote could potentially be held in 2018. So nothing immediate and who knows, Trump will have at least been inaugurated by then and actually had time to perform some actions. Who knows what the future holds or where people's heads will be in a year, it's really hard to gauge. The hunger for change is real, but holding on to rage can be difficult, especially in this day and age of waning attention spans. Also, six largest economies economy, maybe, but there's more to being a country than wealth. One must also set up new trade agreements, have a military, even a standing militia. Since California is a coastal state, even a navy would be advisable. Also what resources do they have to bring to the table? These are all considerations that have to be brought into account. What's to stop other states from trying to annex this one if they break off? There is a fear that such a drastic move could lead to a dissolution of the entire United States, which would mark the end of a certain paradigm. There is a Chinese curse that translates to may you live in interesting times. Or at least people say it is a Chinese curse, though no Chinese source has actually ever been found. But the sentiment behind it remains powerful no matter where it was said. Namely, that times of change and upheaval are not as exciting and fortuitous as they may appear on the surface. Not all change is good and all things need to be examined from all angles. Basically, to quote a traceable proverb, look before you leap. How do you guys feel about the potential of Calexit? Share your thoughts down below. Would you ever want to break off from the country you live in? Why or why not? Share that down there too. I know I would not want my province to split off from the rest of Canada. I'm Sasha Wood. Thanks so much for watching IO. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.